So, yeah, something big just shifted in the App Store. And if you've been watching your rankings lately, scratching your head, wondering why your shiny new app isn't getting that sweet first week bump anymore, you're not imagining it. That little launch boost we've all quietly counted on might be gone, or at least it's acting real different now. And yeah, that changes a lot for us solo devs. Let's talk about uh, what's actually going on here. And more importantly, what you can do about it. Real quick, I'm Daniel. I've been in the iOS game for, what, almost eight years now? Mostly freelancing, shipping apps for other people, doing the whole uh, help build your dream app thing. But since Dub Dub 25, I've been all in on the solo dev life, building in public, shipping my own stuff, seeing what sticks. And yeah, kind of figuring out this whole personal brand thing as I go. That's a story for another video, but for now, uh, let's get into it. All right, so if you're new to shipping apps, here's the deal. For years, and I mean years, uh, when you launched a brand new app, Apple would give it this little artificial bump in the rankings for about a week. They never officially came out and said, yeah, this is a thing, but come on, it was obvious. It was like Apple saying, okay, let's give this thing a shot, see how it does. Let's gather some data, downloads, conversion rates, how people interact with it, and yeah. As a developer, that was pretty sweet. You'd hit publish, watch that spike in downloads and get that little dopamine rush that makes you think, all right, people are actually finding this thing. Sure, it faded after a week, but it was enough to get some early traction uh, or at the very least enough of a boost to keep you hyped about working on the apps. Yeah, so here's what's shifting. Uh, that early ranking boost you know, uh, the one that used to give brand new apps a nice little push in the first week seems to have either vanished or been turned way, way down. Before you could pretty much count on it, you'd launch and almost right away, you'd see your app pop up higher in search results, pick up a few extra keyword rankings, maybe even get noticed by people who weren't looking for you specifically. Even if someone typed your exact app name, it would show up fast. Now, new apps are taking days, sometimes more than a week, uh, to start ranking for even a couple of keywords. And in some cases, they're not showing up for their own exact name right away, which, dang, that's wild. Imagine having to tell someone, yeah, just search for my app. Oh, wait, it might not be there yet. And it's not just a handful of isolated stories. I'm seeing post after post, dev after dev saying the same thing. That little launch lift is either gone or so faint, it's barely worth mentioning. The thing is that first week boost wasn't just some ego stroke or vanity metric, it was valuable. It gave Apple a chance to see early user behavior and gave us as developers a tiny window to get in front of fresh eyes without having to dump cash into ads right out of the gate. Without it, new apps are basically stepping into the app store cold. No momentum, no early signal, just sink or swim from day one. Yeah, Apple hasn't said a thing about this. No blog post, no developer update, nothing in the release notes. So right now, all we've got is observation, pattern spotting, and a bit of educated guesswork. But honestly, the most obvious explanation makes a lot of sense. With AI tools like Claude, Cursor, GPT-5, it's never been easier or faster get to build and ship an app. You can literally go from idea to app store submission in a weekend, and people are doing exactly that, thousands of them every single week. And here's the thing, she, a lot of those apps, they're not great. We're talking bare minimum effort, generic templates, AI generated everything, barely any polish. What some people are calling uh, AI slop. These aren't apps built to solve a problem or delight a user. They're apps built to exist. If your Apple and your ranking algorithm is still handing every single one of those apps a free seven day launch boost, what's really happening? You're flooding the store with low quality listings that get free exposure before they sink. 
that boost stops being a discovery tool for promising apps and starts being a waste of space in the search results. So yeah, if the app store is being hammered with AI generated filler, pulling back that week one boost starts to feel less like Apple being mean to indie devs and more like Apple trying to protect the front page from turning into a landfill. Yeah. And here's where it gets a little ridiculous. I've seen people on X straight up talking about gaming the boost, like building and shipping a brand new app every single week, not because they had some groundbreaking idea, but purely to ride that artificial seven day spike. They'd bake in aggressive monetization from day one. Think paywalls, ads, in-app purchases, crank to the max, grab whatever quick cash they could, and then move on to the next app before the first one even had time to sink. Dang. Whether that strategy ever really worked or not, you can see why Apple wouldn't be thrilled about it. If enough people are doing that, the boost stops being a launch pad for genuinely promising apps and starts looking like a loophole for churn and burn projects. And yeah, pair that with the flood of AI built apps hitting the store every day. And it's not hard to imagine the system getting swamped at that point, pulling back or outright killing that first week bump makes total sense from Apple's perspective. They're not going to keep giving away free visibility if it's mostly going to stuff that was never meant to last in the first place. Yeah. Some devs are looking at this and going, all right, this is just Apple pushing us toward Apple search ads from day one. And you know what? I get why people think that it's not a wild theory. Apple makes a lot of money from search ads and removing the free organic lift could, in theory, nudge more devs into paying for visibility right out of the gate. Dang. It's easy to picture a someone in a boardroom saying, well, if they want that launch visibility, they can just buy it. Um, and yeah, that's the cynical read. But personally, I think this is more about the AI flood than some grand cash grab. If the app store is getting slammed with thousands of low effort, auto generated apps every week, keeping that boost alive just doesn't make sense. It's rewarding the wrong stuff. Either way, though, for us as solo devs, the result is the same. No free launch bump, whether it's a strategy shift to clean up the store or a revenue play for search ads. We're starting from zero on day one now, and we have to plan our launches with that reality in mind. All right, here's where I've landed on this. Yeah, it stings to lose that little rush of seeing downloads spike in the first week. That tiny adrenaline hit was part of the fun like your app was getting its moment in the spotlight, even if it only lasted a few days. But honestly, in the bigger picture, this might actually be a good thing. Because now you've got no choice but to think about marketing from day one. You can't just throw your app into the store and hope Apple carries it for a week. You have to find your audience where they already are. TikTok, Twitter, YouTube, maybe even your own email list or Discord community. You've got to start building buzz before you ever hit submit for review. And yeah, it's more work. But if over time, the apps that actually get traction are the ones with real user engagement, solid ratings, and a community behind them, that's a healthier app store for everyone. No more quick spikes for apps that vanish a week later. Um, just a slow rise for uh, stuff that actually sticks. If you were already focused on building something worth using, already talking to your audience, already doing the hard work to put your app in front of the right people, this change doesn't really hurt you. It just doubles down on what you were supposed to be doing anyway. So yeah, if you've got a launch coming up, just know that free first week lift probably gone. Don't bank on it. You've got to bring your own traffic now. Build the hype, line up your audience, get those links ready to share because it looks like Apple's not handing out free eyeballs anymore. 
And you know, I really want to hear what you've been seeing. Did your last app totally skip that week one spike? Was it smaller than usual? Or maybe you actually still got one? If so, tell me how, because I think a lot of us could use that info. The more stories we swap, the clearer we can figure out what's really going on. If this breakdown helped you, go ahead and like the video, subscribe, or share it with another indie dev who's about to hit publish. Until next time, keep building, keep shipping, and keep finding ways to get your app in front of the right people. Boost or no boost. Peace.